What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys a text editor for programmer in Linux. So first off, I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content. You know what I'm saying? Just go through and check it out. Uh, I got playlists in there with uh, very basic commands on in Linux. So if you're first getting started with Linux, you know, I try to put those together to try to help people that are just getting into it. So uh, just check it out. But today I want to talk about a text editor uh, built for programmers and the actual text editor is called Adam now if you're looking at getting into programming like Python uh, JavaScript uh, even some web development this is a great text editor for you to get started with programming it it advertises itself as a hackable text editor uh, and this is the website the way you get to it is adam.io uh, you can download it from here. Uh, there's also a lot of information on here. They have different themes, uh, packages, documentation. They have a blog uh, and discussion, which is most likely a forum board. Uh, so let's scroll down and see a little bit about it. This is download information up here. Uh, you can build it from source. They have a dev package or RPM. Uh, you can also install it from different repositories. It's in most repositories of in Linux distribution. So let's go down here. There is other platforms, and I'm sure you can install it on Mac OS as well as Windows. And and there we go. There's a zip file right here. You just download that. It's, most likely has an executable in it uh, and there's an executable down here as well uh, you can download either or uh, that'll work that'll install it this is a 64-bit version this is a 32-bit uh, version right here uh, x86 so uh, if you need to download that then it's there for you and also getting back to the website <laughs> Let's scroll down right here. It is, like I said, it states uh, a hackable text editor for the 21st century. Uh, teletype for Adam. Great things happen when developers work together uh, from teaching and sharing knowledge and building better software. Teletype for Adam makes collaboration on code just as easy as it is to code alone. So this is this is one of the packages that you can add to your system. This will allow you to work with other developers uh, on specific code. So just throwing that out there. And then also there is also a GitHub package. It says right here, create new branches, stage and commit, push and pull, resolve merge conflicts, uh, view pull requests and more are from within your editor so this is included as well you can add the github connection uh to adam and just to read a little more it says cross-platform editing adam works across operating systems use it on os x windows and linux uh built-in package manager this is one of the the highlights I want to you know show you guys they have their own package repository where you can download and install packages directly from the uh, package manager or the actual application that you have installed uh, you can download and install directly from the text editor so it's pretty cool uh, smart auto completion so if you add like uh, libraries uh, it'll allow you know the auto completion of whatever code you're trying to write so uh, file system browser you can actually look at the project as you're building it um, multiple panes uh, find and replace and just a little bit more information this is it's uh, packages talking about the packages themes customization uh, and under the hood this is was what is actually built 
uh, what coding languages it was built in. So HTML, JavaScript, CSS, Node.js integration. It runs on Electron, a framework for building cross-platform apps using web technology. So that's pretty much it. You can actually go to the source code and see it on GitHub. Uh, and here is the contact information. So let's get started. I'm gonna just make this video pretty short. I want to go go through and show you guys how to install it uh, on Arch. So okay, so today I'm gonna install Adam on Manjaro. Uh, I just wanted to go down and show you guys how to actually install it. You can go through and go to the uh, package manager. Um, you could do it that way, uh, add remove software, or you could do it from the command line, which is where I'm going to do it. I like to do it that way. Um, so pretty much the command is sudo uh, pacman dash capital S and then Adam. And I might have a lot of updates. I'm going to go past that. Um, let's tab it out. Just make sure that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, so let's actually run the installation. Yeah, we're good. That's the right package. So, and what you want to do is make sure your system is up to date before you actually install anything. I know I'm doing this wrong, um, but it's best practice to actually install. Um, the all the updates just to make sure your system is up to date before you actually install anything new on the system so i'm gonna skip past this uh until this finishes and i'll be back okay so as you can see the the installation has completed so i want to go down and open up the application so i can show you how to actually use it uh, it's not a very, it's not a hard application to learn how to use. Uh, you just have to have an interest in actually programming or anything of that sort, web design. Uh, this is just a tool that will help you with the process of actually writing code. So, just give it a second. It should come up in a second. And I apologize because my VMs have been running slow lately. I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. It's finally open. I, I'm assuming it's just because we op I opened it for the first time. Um, so I'll make it super huge so you guys can see. It's a very simple application. Uh, this is the welcome guide. It goes through and shows you everything you need to know in order to uh, actually use this application. You could turn it off where it doesn't show the welcome guide every single time. Uh, but as you can see, you know, open a project. So if you have projects on your system, uh, you can link them to Atom. So every time you open up Atom, uh, it'll open up that project uh, folder and you can go through and you can add multiple project folders. Um, and that way you can, you know, bounce back and forth between different projects that you're working on. Um, version control with Git and GitHub. So. Like I said, it's integrated to work with GitHub. Uh, you can actually use it um, and it connects, you know, that way. Uh, collaborate real time teletype so people can connect to the code that you're working on, depending on where the repository is stored or located. Uh, and you guys can collaborate at the same time. Um, this is one of the big things I. I like to point out, and I think I said that when we were on the screen, but this is the package area. So I'll click on that just to show you guys, this is actually built into the system. So you can go through and right here, what it'll do first off, it'll load all the featured packages. So this is just all the good practice. I mean, good packages that a lot of people are using that helps them with the uh, with whatever coding that they're doing. So you might want to search and find and also look at the comments, the amount of people that downloaded it. Uh, you can click on it and it'll bring up some information on it, uh, a readme, and also a background on what the actual package will help you with. Uh, so it's best, there, there are a lot of guys out here that'll help you. 
uh, with selecting the right packages depending on what you're actually coding like Python packages I mean or if you into web design they have you know packages for that as well so uh, they have a lot of cool themes you could check it out that's that's just making it look how you want it to look some some people when you're looking at a screen with uh, with code on it uh, it'll kind of hurt your eyes depending on what the colors are and all that stuff where you can add themes that'll help you with that uh, so you don't strain your eyes while sitting there looking at code um, customize the styling you can change that up uh, you can hack the init script uh, that's the initialization script um, if you want more information about that you just read about it uh, add snippets add a snippet uh, keyboard shortcut so you can actually edit the shortcuts so that's all I want to show you on the welcome page but it's good to actually go through all this so you can understand the atom and what you can actually do with it so I'm gonna close that I'm gonna close this welcome page and I'm not gonna sign up sign up for this right now but this is pretty much the application uh, let's make it a little smaller I'm gonna make it smaller so you guys can kind of see the actual application within the VM um, so this is I mean it's just like any other text editor so you can go here and hit open let's say add project folder so if you click that there uh, you can create a you know a project let's say um, let's create a folder up in here right fast and actually let's go here let's file explorer and create a quick folder and actually we can use that folder that's there uh, secret folder I think that's the one I was using for when I did the video on sharing things over the dark web, dark web. so check it out uh, I did a video on that just showing you guys how to actually search um, so pretty much that's how you do it you just simply add a project or a project folder and then within this folder you can add files uh, you can add other folders you can duplicate uh, certain files within there or or the folder itself um, you know rename so instead of going through the text editor uh, or not the text editor instead of going through the file manager or you know going into the command line and renaming a folder you can name rename all your documents and all that stuff here and then once you you know create something like this was an empty file so you can uh, just start typing you know whatever your code is here you know what I'm saying and then uh, depending on what all you add to it uh, as far as the packages uh, you know it'll fix fix your code and all that stuff for you uh, so like I said this is kind of a high level introduction to Atom I didn't want to go too deep because uh, I use it uh, I have a lot of packages installed and I'll sh I can show you what those packages do um, based on you know your needs it's kind of hard to narrow it down because you know programming you know covers a vast uh, amount of different programming languages and it's it's kind of hard to tailor it tailor a video directly to what someone is going to be using the application for so uh, but like I said a high overview but you can go through you know open up multiple file let's say uh, I wish I had more files in here let's create another file um, into the path for the new file so we can go um, uh, secret to dot PHP or whatever okay and we can have multiple files open at the same time so you can jump back and forth so if this project is real big and you're working on let's say you're working on something and you need a function to handle something you can open up the other file start working on that func function and then yeah and that's the autocomplete right there uh, as you can see is it's already starting to populate a lot of it uh, but yeah you can like when you name the file it recognizes what type of file it is so it'll automatically uh, add the proper um, auto completion for the actual file so if I did like a PHP file it'll show uh, PHP uh, auto completions or suggestions so just showing you guys that you know that's pretty cool um, 
and that's pretty much it all, all I wanted to show you guys uh, you can go through and check this out they have a lot of documentation they have a real big community behind this actual application and like I said this is just a general overview uh, just to show you guys you know different things on how to actually use it um, and actually get started with it uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions please leave a comment down in the down below in the comment section and of course keep it techie